show you my teaching demonstration in science 3 with the topic living and non-living things. Please stand up and let us pray first. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class! Wow! I see a lot of happy faces today. And everything are well arranged. Good job! Keep it, keep it up, class! Keep it up! So, I will check your attendance first. Okay? No one is upset. Very good! So, now... Are you ready for a lesson today? Oh, okay, but before that, can anyone recall or review what we have tackled yesterday? Yes, Anjali? Oh, the topic that we have tackled yesterday is all about the layers of the earth. Again, what are the layers of the earth? We have the core. What else? The crust. The other one, the mantle. So that are the layers of the earth. Before we proceed to our new lesson, I will show you a picture. So, what have you seen in the picture? What is it? Yes, Christine? Yes, an earth. And what part of the earth the shows in the picture. Yes, Alia? Very good. We have the land. What else? Yes, Alexa? Okay. The water. Another one? Yes, Alia? The air. Of course, the air. What part of the earth does the picture show us again? We have the land, the water, and the air. So, at this moment, I want you to look around the classroom. What is inside and what is on the outside? What do you see? Can you give me one? Do not answer me, Carl. Just raise your right hand. Yes, Anna. A plant. Yes, very good. A plant. Another. The students. Very good. What else? The trees. Very good. What else? Give me one. The table. So, what do you think is our lesson for today? It's okay. So our lesson for today is all about living and non-living things. Okay. So today, I have here a picture that we can see in our surroundings. First, we have the tree. The tree. Next, we have a bird. And last would be the boy. So what have you observed with these three things? Are these things can move? Yes, Jim? Very good. Yes, these things can move. Are these things can reproduce? Precisely, yes. Are these things can move? Again, it's a yes. And lastly, are these things have life? Yes, exactly. These things that can grow, reproduce, move, and have life are called living things. Again, what is it? Yes, alien. Yes, living things. So these are the living things. We have, we all know that living things are the things that are alive. They have also the ability to
to reproduce or give birth and change on their own and respond to changes in environment. So that is a living thing. We have also the characteristics of a living thing. First, we have here the ability to, to, to metabolize. Second, ability to grow. The third one, the ability to respond. Next, we have the ability to respond. Another one, the ability to move. Another, we have the ability to adapt to the environment. And the last but not the least, the, abil the ability to reproduce. So these are the characteristics of the living things. Can you give me one? Yes, Christine. Very good. The ability to metabolize. Another one. Yes, Alia. Ability to grow. Since all of you understood what is living things, so I have here another set of picture. Okay. What is this? Another, we have a ball pen. Another set of example, we have a crayon. And last is the notebook. What is this? The ball pen, the crayons, and the notebook. What have you observed with these three things or object? Are these things can move? Yes, Alia. Exactly no. Are these things can reproduce? Yes. These things cannot reproduce. Are these things can move? Exactly no. Are these things also have life? Again, no. So that these things or these three things that cannot grow, move, reproduce are called the non-living things. So non-living things non-living things are things that were once alive or have been alive. Things do not need water, food, and air. Things that are not made up of cells or nerves and do not grow. They don't have senses. So that is a non-living thing. So, again, we have also the characteristics of a non-living thing. First, non-living things are lifeless. Of course, all things that don't have life are called non-living things. Another characteristic, we have, they will never die as they do not have cells with a definite lifespan. Of course, as, as what I have said earlier, they don't love, have life, so, so they will never die. Next is, they don't have a definite and certain size of their own. And last characteristic, it does not respond to stimuli. These are the four characteristics of non-living things. So again, what is non-living things? Yes, Ben. Very good. Okay. I know you've learned a lot from this lesson or from our discussion today. Can you recall or anyone can recall what is the difference between living and non-living things? Anyone? Yes, Ninia. Very good. Let's give Ninia a wow clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So at this moment, we will have a group activity. I will divide you into three groups. The group one, 
the group two and the group three. All you have to do is each group must list down at least six examples of living things and six examples of non-living things. You only have five minutes to do the activity. Your time starts now. Two minutes left. Okay, time's up, time's up. The losers and your activity. Who wants to present first? Oh, no one will present first. So I will be the one to choose who will present first. We will start with group one. Very good. Thank you, group one. Next, we have the group two. Thank you, group two. The last but not least, the group three. Thank you, group three. So, let's give a round of applause to everyone since we have a successful activity today. So, class, it seems that you really understood our lesson or our discussion today. Do you have any questions or any clarifications? Oh, no one? Okay. Since no one has questions and clarifications, it means that you are all understood of our or understand our lesson today. So, we will have a short quiz. Can we get one piece of paper? Okay, okay. So, all you have to do is to identify the object or the things that I will show you. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And last but not the least, in number five. Are you done? Okay. You have two minutes left. Time's up? Okay. We will check, since we have 10 minutes left, we will check your papers first. Exchange your papers to your me. So we will start checking. So, identify what are these things or object, if it is living or non-living things. The fish, is it living or non-living things? So this is a living thing. Number two, the children. Are these living or non-living things? So again, they are a living thing. Number three, a jacket. Of course, they don't have life. So it is non-living things. Number four, a goat. So what do you think are goat a non-living or a living thing? Okay, a living thing. Last would be the door. Is it a living or non-living thing? Of course, again, they don't have life and they cannot move. So it is a non-living thing. So kindly... Return the papers to the honor. Raise your hand, right hand if you get a perfect score. Wow! I am very much happy that all of you or most of you got a perfect score. It means that you, re that you really understood and listened to my discussion. So, for your assignment, in a short-sized bind paper, you are going to draw at least 
Two, at least two, two examples of living and non-living things. So, get it? Understand everyone? Okay, thank you. So, since we have done our discussion, let us all rise and for our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for participating. And God bless everyone. See you tomorrow.